Hi, my name is Neil Goldstein. I was raised in a small rural town just on the outside of Fort Knox called Vine Grove, Kentucky. I'm an older brother to two siblings. And I graduated from North Harden High School. Immediately after high school, I joined the Navy and I signed up to be a hospital corpsman or a medic. I've served everywhere from clinics to hospitals to fleet hospitals to austere environments with Marines. It was some of the best times of my life. While working as the right hand of the doctor, I frequently found myself investing most of my time into environmental medicine. This encompassed everything from sand fleas and flies to immunizations. Also worked as a command fitness leader, helping military members engage in more physical activity outside of work. Now, currently, I work as a Navy reservist, leading a hospital unit out of Louisville, Kentucky, through training operations and task evolutions. After bouncing around several community colleges while on active duty, I was finally able to attend a real university. I attended Bellarmine University in Louisville, Kentucky. While attending Bellarmine University, I built the very first veteran association here on campus. Our goal was to provide social support and an avenue for veterans to begin working with other organizations on campus and thus continuing their educational pursuits. This was accomplished through targeted social media campaigns as well as reaching out to alternative media. And lastly, I was given the most incredible opportunity to develop my own research. With the assistance of Dr. Thomas Wojcicki, we designed a program to enhance physical activity in Navy reservists through targeted social media and YouTube behavior modification videos. It was probably one of the most difficult but most rewarding experiences of my life. Um, one moment that I can remember is one of our participants uh, losing 10 pounds at the end of our eight week program. And I just remember the look in her eyes as she looked down at the scale and looked back at me and knowing how difficult it was for her to lose this weight um, it was a it felt monumental and uh, she gave me one of the biggest hugs <laughs> what brought me to health promotion was after writing and Reading through the literature, uh, the, the more I began to see this much larger picture than just physical activity. Um, and that behavior expanded to other aspects of the environment and being home and to their social networks. And I wanted to learn more about that and I wanted to uh, develop my interventions uh, in the future um, more, more precise and uh, more targeted to uh, to overall wellness. I remember when I was first applying for grad schools, I was actually in somewhat of a dilemma because in one hand I was trying to apply for kinesiology programs and in the other, um, all my writing and everything, the avenues in which I was taking to uh, read and, and uh, to understand the uh, uh, the world around me was uh, in, in, uh, in the other direction almost, uh, specifically looking at behavior. And, uh, and so that's when I contacted Dr. Ickes for more information and uh, happened to notice that she was first an exercise science um, uh, undergrad. Um, I thought that she might be best to reach out to. And what made her switch from uh, exercise science to uh, health promotion? And it, everything, everything, she, everything she had to say really set me at ease and uh, was very much everything that I was looking for in a program. So what I do with my personal time? I love playing the guitar. I've been playing since I was a kid and I've continued to play ever since. It's just been a small passion of mine and uh, it's just a great stress reliever. Um, I also love uh, tinkering and trying to learn new things. Um, I love biking. Um, I 
frequently will take my bike out in Lexington just to kind of explore. I'm still trying to learn the city somewhat. And, uh, and I also love uh, being outside. So uh, I've got an outside gym, so I'll often be out there or um, uh, I'll be doing chores. So mostly mowing, mowing my grass and uh, kind of tending to the yard. So but being outside mostly. So. In two to five years, I want to get my chest certification, of course. Um, and after that, I'll be enrolling in a, uh, in a master's in public health uh, with an emphasis in uh, policy and development. Um, I'd like to utilize uh, my education uh, here at UK as well as the uh, MPH uh, to go work again for the government, specifically within the Commission Corps, to uh, work uh, for underserved populations and uh, design uh, better programs and, and better initiatives and um, better interventions that, um, that, that assist and uh, save money in, in the end. In 10 to 15 years, um, well, I started my, started my bachelor's at 25, 26 years old and uh, so I'm starting a master's now at 29 and uh, probably won't be done with my second MPH till maybe I'm 33, 34 maybe. Um, so I'll probably, I'll probably end up be, being back right back in college, um, working on my PhD or my, or, or my ED. Um, and uh, yeah, that's where, I, where I'll likely see myself in the end. <laughs>